Hello everyone, Stan White from Scrapper's Workshop here with another video tutorial. What we're going to be talking about this time around is how to make your tape look more realistic. Now a real popular effect that you see in digital scrapbooks and Photoshop and excuse me in photo books is this tape down effect. Kind of where you get some tape samples. I downloaded these from the internet. You use it to make it look like your pictures are taped down to something, okay? And it's a real cool kind of effect. Uh, it's real, real easy to uh, to go ahead and do, but we're going to make it look a little bit extra special for you, okay, by adding just a couple of things to make it really realistic looking, okay? So here we go ahead and we have our tape. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we're a little bit closer for you. As you can see, the tape as it comes doesn't look that bad, okay? But we're going to make it just a little bit more realistic for you here, okay? First thing we're going to do is we're going to add a drop shadow to this piece of tape. Now this piece of tape is a three-dimensional thing overlaying a picture, okay? So that has to have some kind of indication that there's some width to it, you know, that there, there's a, that's an actual three-dimensional item. And we're going to do that with a, with a drop shadow. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're on a right tape layer, which we are. I'm going to go up to our effects menu and we're going to make sure that on our pull down we are set to drop shadow. And under drop shadow we're going to select this one here hard edge. Okay, now we're going to modify those settings, okay? But that is to start out we're going to go ahead and select hard edge, click apply. Now, obviously that does not look correct. Okay? That looks like our tape is floating up and above the surface of our picture. That is not what we're looking for at all, okay? What we want to do is we want to go ahead and double click on our FX there to go ahead and bring up our style settings and we're going to edit this for our uh, drop shadow okay pretty simple size is going to be set to one important one the distance is going to be set to one and opacity you can leave it 75 percent so you see it gives it just that little bit a drop shadow around the edge to give it that three-dimensional kind of look so our piece of tape looks even better already Okay. Now we're going to really add that sizzle, we're going to really add that pop that really is going to make this effect look 100% realistic. Now what that is, is, is as this piece of tape overlays this picture, there should be a shadow right here. Okay, because that's where the tape is laying over another physical thing. Kind of like you see this piece of tape is laying over the top of the other piece of tape. There's a little shadow there. So we have to add that shadow in. And that is really extremely easy to do. Okay, so I'll go ahead and show you how we're going to do it. First things first, we want to go ahead and we're going to control click on the layer where I have my picture. Okay, so there's my picture. I'm going to make sure I control click on the little icon. And what that's going to do is that's going to put my marching ants around my picture. So that is exactly what I want. So that's step one. And here's the most critical step. You want to make sure that even though you clicked down here, you want to make sure that your tape layer is selected. If it isn't, just go ahead and click on that layer. It's highlighted so I know it is selected, okay? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit Control J, and you see it's made a copy of that layer. And I'll turn off the layer below it. You'll see it's actually made a copy with the tape as part of it. And that is exactly what we want. Okay, as you can see, hey, we're starting to get a little bit of a shadow there. Okay, but it doesn't quite look realistic. The edge of that shadow wouldn't quite be that hard edge. So we're again going to double click on our FX to edit our layer style. And on this one we can spin our lighting angle around a little bit so it's kind of equal on both sides. Okay. Now with this you want to make sure you lower your opacity down oh somewhere in the 20s probably is, is where it's going to end up. Okay and your size is going to control how blurry it is. You see as I blur it out, okay, that's indicating how kind of how far that piece of tape is staying off the edge there. And oh, you know, somewhere in the 10 to 20 range maybe. Or 7, that kind of looks good. 
Your distance is generally going to be 0 to 1 for this. And then you just kind of play with your opacity to give it a real or realistic look. The more you increase the size, the blurrier the effect's going to be. All right, and I think that looks just about right, right there. So I'm at 32 for the size, 0 for the distance, and 17 for the opacity. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now you can see how realistic that looks. It looks like that tape is completely overlaying that photograph that's underneath. So I'll go ahead and show you real fast on this other piece of tape here, okay? First thing I want to do is make sure I have my tape layer selected correctly. Yep, got the right one. So I'm going to make sure that layer is highlighted. I'm going to go up to my effects menu and make sure drop shadow is selected. Hard edge for the drop shadow. Click apply. Now that's totally wrong, so we're going to double click on the FX to edit it. And for this one, we're going to give it again a size of 1 Oops. and a distance of 1. You can leave your opacity right where it is. Click OK. That looks good. Now to get the overlaying effect, we're going to control click on the icon for our picture. To select our marching ants. Again, make sure our tape layer is selected and hit Control J to copy the layer. Double click on the FX to edit it. Or opacity way down here and increase our size. And you are done. There you go. That's another video tip from you. <clears throat> another video tip from Scrapper's Workshop here. Look on our website at www.scrappersworkshop.com for this and other video tutorials. And thanks for listening.